Hey friends, this week we talked about one of the marks of a maturing disciple is that our hearts are being shaped by the character of God. One of the things I tried to emphasize this week is that the way that our hearts are shaped is, is largely through habits that we have formed, a, a way of life, so to speak. And like in anything that we're trying to learn or be shaped into, whether that's a good musician or athlete or uh, whatever, if you're trying to learn a language, uh, repetition is key. So when I was a kid, I had to take piano lessons. And again and again, I was formed uh, by doing simple scales over and over again. Um, that not only helped muscle memory get that into my fingers, but it helped me see the keyboard in new ways. If you're a baseball player, you had to take ground balls again and again. And if you're learning a language, you have to say the words um, over and over to build up your vocabulary and your familiarity with that vocabulary. So the same is true of our hearts. Uh, the Romans had a proverb that says, repetition is the mother of all learning. And I think that's true. So uh, I asked the question, what, what are the habits of your heart? What are the daily routines that are having an effect on shaping your heart in one way or, or another? Well, I wanted to just show you as I'm trying to lean into uh, certain daily habits again, how I'm trying to deal with that. I don't know about you, but I found that COVID has been very disruptive to my way of life. And so over the last couple months in particular, I've been trying to come up with a way to evaluate again, am I doing the most important things that are going to be shaping my heart? So I just want to show you a method that I've been using to try to help. So I just printed out a blank calendar from, from the computer. And in each box, I put seven, seven numbers, and I came up with seven practices that I hope are going to be helpful in forming my heart. And so here's my little key. Number one represents time in the Bible each day. Uh, two is time spent in prayer. Three is some study. Four is connecting with people. And uh, certainly in these weird times we're living in, connection is harder to come by. Five is exercise, and our, our hearts and our bodies are linked together. Six is being careful of what I allow my eyes to see. And seven is sleep. I don't know if you've thought about sleep as a spiritual discipline or a spiritual practice, but it's important. So every box, again, I put these seven numbers, and I'm just crossing out things as day by day. So you'll see on September 1st, I was able to do all those things except for connecting with people, and looks like I didn't get to bed at a good time that day. And so I'm just hashing out each day as I went. Looks like that Saturday the 5th, I either had a really bad day or I forgot to mark <laughs> it off. I think it was the latter. But uh, in this way, I'm trying to keep track of my, my way of life and keep myself accountable a little bit more to these things that are important and have a part to play in shaping my heart. So your habits may not be the ones I've chosen. And in fact, I'd encourage you to get creative. Think of the ways that you want to grow in Christ-likeness and then uh, some habits that will aid in that direction. Dallas Willard uh, mentioned one practice for the, those who want to see their hearts freed from uh, materialism might, might be to do your shopping, your banking, and so forth in poor areas of town. So you're not constantly measuring up and seeing the things that you don't have. Um, you may want to make a habit if you want to be uh, more focused on other people to write a note of encouragement or gratitude to somebody each day. The, the options are limitless. But I also want to remind you, it's not simply... Uh, our own habits that we're leaning into, but it, it takes the grace of God as well. I love what Paul says in Philippians. He tells us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling, as do the work, put in the effort. But then he adds, for it is God who works in you to both will, to desire, and to act according to his good pleasure. 
So let's keep both of those things in mind this week as we uh, pursue the life of Christ in us. Uh, God bless you, each one of you. Bye.